Good evening, everyone. Happy Sunday evening. <laughs> nice to see you all again. I've missed you all. <laughs> Let me move my camera back a little bit. Hold on just a second here. So you can see me. I didn't realize I had it on top of me there. There we go. Now, there we go. Good evening, everyone. Nice to see every one of you. Welcome. <laughs> I got you up a little high tonight. I didn't realize that. I've been messing with the camera. Anyway, nice to see you. I've no, been absent for the past couple of weeks, and I apologize about that. Um, it's me and all my glory and my messy bun. But welcome. I'm Mary Ann from Made by Mary Ann, and I appreciate every one of you stopping in. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Happy uh, third Sunday in October. <laughs> anyway, moving along here. So, tonight, I thought we'd do something really cool. Now, I know we were supposed to finish the scarecrow, but I made a wreath with my very last oval. So, I'm waiting on another oval to be able to um, finish that scarecrow. So, we will. I haven't forgotten it. I just um, was an idiot and used that one. So anyway, tonight we are gonna do a scarecrow, just a different kind of scarecrow. And I'm moving outside of my comfort zone and um, decided we were gonna stay away from a lot of ribbon and do a bunch of florals. So I hope it works out, I hope it looks pretty, and uh, we're gonna try this. So, um, I think I have your comments pulled up over here. Let me see if I do, actually, um, before we get started. That way, I don't take up a lot of your time looking for you. Let's see here. Do I have you? Do I have you? Maybe this thing's slower in Christmas. Actually, Christmas has come pretty fast lately. Welcome, everybody. Nice to see y'all. Let's see. I don't see me yet. Maybe it'll take a minute. But anyway, so let's go through what we're doing. I have kind of started because I knew that this was going to take us a minute. So um, I got kind of started with it. We're going to use the rectangle boards. And so here's what I have done. I have taken A from one of the boards. These are two boards put together, as you can see. And I have taken A, all right? This would be A on the, this board, the first board, and I, and laid them over top of each other so that these two are connected, okay? I've connected those at the edges here, and then I've placed a hook, and I've just gone down every single other. And I will explain in more detail as we go on. And then I have this beautiful, it's a chocolate color with a copper foil. I love this mesh. And it's just a plain deco mesh, nothing special about it, but you can see the copper as it moves there. Isn't that pretty? So I thought that would be our base. This is a kerfluffle. You know it's my favorite petal. Um, so there's that. This is what we're going to work with. That's our base, and I have this adorable scarecrow that I absolutely love. Isn't he great? He says fall, I love him. I did one of these last year and I bought two of him because I loved him so much. So here he is, I adore him, adore him. He's great, I've already got him ready to go. Everything on the back of him. I just put some cable mounts and some um, Chanel stems so we can hook them to our project, so awesome. I have some copper and green velvet pumpkins, okay? I got these at the Dollar Tree, I think. I uh, can't remember, but I have a bunch of them. Anyway, chocolate and green. I love this green color, isn't it pretty? It's like an olive velvety something. Anyway, have those, have a few of those. Let me see if I can pull you up now. And I have some, well, just a second. Let me see if I can find this. So I can say hello. There we are. And of course I didn't turn you down. There we go. Okay, awesome. Found ya. I have some of these um, beige or gold or um, natural colored leaves that I picked up somewhere. I think Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. So I have some of these. Let's see if I can find her. Hi, everybody. Hi from California. Hi, Miss Vicki. Yay. I can see you. <laughs> I 
I have some tiny little sunflowers that I had left over from a project. I have some, um, these are called kind of dirty yellow. <laughs> and these I call dirty white. So I have some of those left over. We're going to stick some of those in there. Um, I have these cool lotus flowers too. I think they're called lotus or lotus, lotus pods maybe. Um, but anyway, I have two of those, which I think are really cool. We might use them and then again, we might not, but I have two of those. So I think they're awesome. Um, I have a bunch of these green eucalyptus stems that I thought might be perfect for a little bit of green. Have some of those. Um, I have these berries. Uh, berries. I have some tea stained cotton. You know, oh, Mary Ann's getting fancy up in here. Tea stained cotton. <laughs> I have a bunch of flowers, just orange, different kinds. I have a mum here. I have some sunflowers. I have, I think that's just an orange sunflower. Bunch of stuff. There's a mum. Can you see the mum? Yeah, in there. There we go. Hi, everybody. <laughs> anyway. And here's our uh, leaves. Of course, you have to have some leaves. And I think that about does it. So um, I brought the kitchen sink. Whether or not we're going to actually throw the kitchen sink in it, I don't know. But I brought it just in case we want to throw it in there. So we're going to try our very best to make a beautiful um, swag without a lot of ribbon. And we're just going to start sticking stuff in there. So what else do I have? I feel like I'm missing something. I showed you the mesh. Here's our bow. That's what I'm missing. Here's our bow. And I've got it all rolled up like I normally do, but here's our bow that's going to go on the end of our project. And as you can see, I have the tails rolled here. So we can just pull those out when we're ready. But there's our bow. Here's our big four inch. I thought that would be pretty in the back. So there's that. There's the bow. So let's get started because this might take a minute. Um, as I said, I'm not used to doing this stuff live and it takes me a minute when I'm not live. <laughs> so let's get started and I'll pull you down and we'll rock it out, all right? And uh, happy Sunday. Thanks everybody for joining me. Hi, Miss Phyllis. Hi, everybody. Okay, I always say this, but it's so true. If you get sick, one of these days I'll have an amazing, hopefully for Christmas, camera set up but if you get sick close your eyes because i'm going to pull it towards me flip you down so you can see the board okay or see the project all right here we go oh close up close up close up and i am burning up guys already it's five minutes into it okay oh look at my shirt <laughs> sasquatch oh my gosh and it just started thunderstorming like crazy okay Let's see how we look in here. One second. Good job, I'm eating match. <sighs> All right, guys, how do you think that looks? Hi, Miss Donna. Hi, Miss Sharon. Hello, Miss Nadia. Hello, everyone. I think that looks pretty good. Look at my wild and crazy fingernails. Do I need to? Maybe I need to pull the light down just a little bit. I think we're all right. Tell me if you don't like it. Oh my gosh, that's a terrible thunderstorm. Anyway, here's our project. And again, what I've done, I'm gonna roll it over here for you as soon as I fix this little zip tie on the end. Okay, what I've done is there are two Unique in the Creek rectangle boards here. And I added our hanger because you know me, I get to the end and think, oh my gosh, how are we gonna hang this puppy? So <laughs> I added our hanger first. And I have taken, this would be A on, top, on the top board, okay? So I've laid A and B against the bottom two, okay? All right, so I've just tapped them together on the side, as you can see right here. I've just zip tied them together. That's all I've done. Nothing special, nothing crazy, just put them together, okay? And then what I've done is I have just gone every other, <clears throat> starting from the top, all the way down. And actually at the top, I skipped the first row, okay? 
So I skipped the first set. And I went here, 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 here. So on and so forth. Okay. I didn't want you to waste our time putting in mesh that you already know how to do. Okay. So there's where we are so far. What we're going to do now is we're going to do our kerf level and finish the rest of the board. Then we're going to put our scarecrow on here. Ta da! <laughs> and then we're going to stick a bunch of stuff in him. And there goes my um, Facebook again, as usual. Yay! All right. So for our, there's my sew word again. We'll put our little project over here for just a second. This is my normal favorite fold, you guys. Y'all know me, I love this fold. I use it all the time. It is super simple, super easy, and it makes a great wreath, right? Gives you a bunch of body, a bunch of um, fullness to your wreath. So what you do, 10 inch mesh, cut 20 inches, okay? You can do 15 if you want but I like 20, make it horizontal, roll one side, couple of times, I like to do three, so that I have a good curl at the end, okay? Pin it, turn it around, do it for the other side, roll it a couple of times, there's my three, and then scrunch up the middle, okay? Meet the other one, pin it, make sure you have a pretty, pretty curl. If not, tug on it a little bit to pull the ends in, voila, and stick it in your project. So here we go. There we go. I lost your comments, guys. <laughs> And it is thunderstorming outside, so I hope my power doesn't flicker. There we go. And voila, we're moving on down the board. All right, and I have a bunch of these made, so you want to put your worst ones, your worst petals in the middle here, because if you put your worst petals in the middle, they're going to be covered up by your scarecrow, okay? So make sure that if you have some that you don't really like, put them in the center here so that they're covered up by your attachment or whatever else you're doing. All right, just move these out of the way and squish them in here. There we go. And then you can move them around however you want to. Kind of make sure they're all the same height. These in the middle really don't matter because, again, you're not really gonna see these. So try to save your best ones for the ends. Let's see, that's a good one. We'll put this one because it's got a wonky, a wonky end here. And of course, now I can't see you again. Let's try again. Okay, there's me. <laughs> All right, keep going here. Everybody have a good Sunday. I hope you did. It was beautiful until about five minutes ago, and then I guess it just started thunderstorming like crazy. All right, gonna do it again. There we are. Now let's see. Aha, uh -huh, I have you back. Will I be using ribbon? Um, no, I decided I didn't want to. Um, you can, if you'd like, you can put, you can go down the side and in your zip ties, add ribbon that will flow over to the side, or you could add ribbon in the middle that'll flow up if you want to, that's fine. But I think for me, our scarecrow head is gonna be so big that the only ribbon we really need is the bow because our florals should stick out from the side and take care of that. So we'll see. I mean, you never know. I might get finished tonight and think, well, goodness gracious, I do need some ribbon. 
and I've knocked my stuff so far over here that I can't reach it because I'm a little shorty. So let's move it up here a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Stella's decided she's going to lay on the floor behind me. <laughs> All right. As we just keep on moving here. Keep on moving. Okay. And I need some more room on my island here. <laughs> Don't we all say that though? We all need a bigger table for our crafter. I think that's the number one complaint you hear from a crafter, right? And you need more room? More room. Okay. Should have put that one in the middle. I don't like the way that one looks, but that's all right. And I'm just moving the top one out of the way. Meeting it for the back here. And posting them in. We're zipping them in. I've been watching a lot of football, so post is a word they use a lot. <laughs> post up. There we go. Yes, she is. Well, she doesn't like the thunderstorms a lot. So, she's coming to make sure that I'm protected. Well, really, she's protected. So, <laughs> I need to buy some of that, some of those natural drops that, um, you know, so she doesn't get so scared and freaked out. She's okay as long as it doesn't thunder really bad. If it starts thundering really bad, she's going to be freaking out. <clears throat> I think a lot of dogs are like that, though. I think it's just their hearing is so superior that it really does hurt them and scares them. All right. There we go. Okay. We're going to put those on the end. And you just keep going down, back and forth, every other one. Let's pull this out before I... There we are. Put this one here. There we go. Hello, Miss Bradley. Hi, Miss Holland. Welcome, welcome. Sorry I've been absent. I got a promotion at work, so I have been crazy and exhausted. And then last week was a festival, and so... My whole family was here, and it was crazy, so let's see. I want this one to go up there, so I haven't had a chance to see you guys. Thank you all for checking up on me as well. Um, nothing was wrong. I just had to go into work for a minute, so thank you. I appreciate all your well wishes and your prayers. That was awesome. Cause I sure did need them. I was having a moment. <laughs> you know how it is. Sometimes work will give you one of those moments. But I was okay. Thank you for worrying about me. I love it. All right, here's one, and then we've got one more left to do. I can get this thing to hold still. Let's see, do I want that on the bottom? I do. All right. Ugh. There we go, y'all. Almost there. And we'll put stuff there so it doesn't look so funny. Well, we can also attach it to the other one. I hate it when that happens, when the piece sticks out. But there we go, there's that one. And then let's make our last one, and we are done with our base. Woohoo, moving right along. Where can I put it? Let's put it right here for a minute. There we go. All right, again, your 10 inch mesh, cut 20 inches, turn it vertically, roll a couple times. I do about three, three or four, whichever you're comfortable with. Doesn't matter, as long as you get a good curl on the end. Clip it, turn it around the other way. Do it again, two, three. And then scrunch it up the middle. It's gonna fold over on me, of course. Let's do it this way so you can see me scratch. 
Ugh. So one, two, if you're a counter, that's cool. If not, that's fine too. It doesn't really matter as long as they all kind of look the same because they're all gonna run together like this. And I'm bringing everything else with me, that's all right. Well, this is gonna drive me bonkers. I've lost y'all again. That's okay, I can see it up there a little bit, I guess. Okay, last one. Don't worry about your gaps down here. We will be filling those. Plus our ribbon is gonna, or our bow tails are gonna hang over. So it's gonna be all right. Not the end of the world. Let's move our pins and our trash out of the way here. All right, so here's our top. Now let's put our scarecrow head on. Let's get Crazy, crazy. That was gonna be cute. All right. So let's pick where we want him to go. I think. About right there, and then, hey, hey, hey. Here's our bow. around him. I think that is perfect. What do you guys think? I'll put a bunch of stuff on him. Squish him down a little bit. Yep. Let me find it again. <laughs> oh, geez. Don't kill me. So there we are again, at least. Oh, wow. My poor thing can't keep up. Hey, Michelle. Thanks, everybody. I like it right here. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's put him in here if I can. And what I'm going to try to do is move the curls out of the way to make like a dent, you know? Remember when I said put the worst ones in the middle? This is why. Because you're going to squish them out like a so. Okay, now let's try to get our baby in here. Did I make this scarecrow? I wish. I tried to figure out how because it looks like it's just a piece of styrofoam with some burlap. I mean, this is just styrofoam with just some stuff over it. So I kind of thought about taking him apart, but he was too cute and I was afraid I couldn't get him back together. <laughs> so I'm gonna try for sure, because I bought some of this thick styrofoam and I have an awesome styrofoam cutter, but hadn't gotten that far yet. It's almost time to start making Christmas, so well, it is, it's not almost time to start making Christmas. It is time to start making Christmas, and I'm a little behind, so I don't know that we'll, we might save that try until next year. And here we go with the best part of reason, trying to get your attachment in there. So hang with me while I try to find the holes and get him in here. I'm just picking a hole, no rhyme or reason, sticking him in here. And I got my thumb caught on the hanger. All right, here we go. There we are. There's one of them. Kind of dumb putting two of them on there. I wish I would have only put one in the center, but I don't know what I was thinking. Let's do this one here.
And I'm going to draw this in here. Y'all had a good Sunday? I didn't get to see what you said. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hello. Glad to see everybody. I've missed y'all. Yeah, I started gathering stuff for the scarecrow this evening, and I thought, OMG, I used my last oh. <laughs> And there's no way that big old scarecrow we made is going to fit on anything but an oval. So, I thought, well, we'll do this one then. Because I've been wanting to do this one anyway. Alright, there's his top. There's the first part of him. Let's get all these kind of situated. Move him down a little bit. Make sure he's centered. Move him over just a tad. On there. I don't think I need the bottom one, but I might. Sorry, I know y'all are like, oh my gosh, Marianne, come on now. Get it together. There we go. Aha. Oh, and look, I actually got it on the same. Look how cool. <laughs> that never happens. It's normally all over the place, isn't it? What do you know? Got them in the same spot. All right. He is on there, my friends. He is not going anywhere. All right, now, I went from so to saying all right. <laughs> Moving down just a little bit. Just a tad. Let's pull some of this mesh out from under him. Okay. Now, I don't think we should actually start bow on the bow or put the bow on yet. I think we should start putting some florals. And I think I may need to do the end one so that he stays centered. So let's do that one really quickly. I should be able to get him in there. Watch me say that and him not go. All right, here he is. So I'm gonna do there. All right. And then this one. Should go perfectly fine, right? Yeah. Come on. What do you know? I did it. I did it. Yes. Okay. Let's pull him down in here a little bit and get him on there. Yay. All right. He is officially on there. He is not going anywhere. Okay. All right. Let's start gluing some pretty stuff to him. You want to? So I figured that we would start with the greenery and the leaves. So let's start with these big pieces. I love this stuff. And I think it adds a little bit of green because you don't want a bunch of orange. Kind of need some green to mix it up. And I think that this is fall enough and we won't put a, a lot in there so that it doesn't take away from the other orange. So let's try to put some of this in here. And again, guys, I'm not a floral whisperer, so if it looks bad, tell me, okay? Just say, no, Marianne, not there, my love. And I promise you, I will listen. So I'm just cutting a few pieces off here of this big old bush and picking them up out of the floor. And we are just going to start sticking them. Let's start sticking them up here. I'm going to turn him around so I can see this side. <clears throat> Move on the stuff out of the way so I have plenty of room. Okay, let's start with some long pieces here. Those look like they're long pieces. So I'm just gonna start sticking some in just here and there and everywhere. Like around his hat. Maybe. I hope that my video catches up so I can see. 
I'm gonna try and stick them on the bottom here. We can always move them. I kind of need to hang this up, but I don't have a way, way to hang it for y'all to see just yet. Here's that piece. Let me grab my glue gun here. I'm going to audition a little minute, a minute or two first before I start actually gluing. Make sure everything looks okay. I remember we got a lot of stuff here. I might not like the way, where everything goes, but hey. We might in a minute. My bow's going to go right there, so let's put it down here. Uh, oh, oh. I don't know about this eucalyptus, y'all, or whatever this is called. Let's get that in there a little bit. Throwing stuff again. Get that to be right there. Okay, let me turn around and let y'all see what I've got so far on that side and work on this side for just a second. That way I can see it in the camera. I don't like that piece right there already. Let's stick it right here. Maybe so. Okay, that didn't look so bad. Doesn't look so bad. <laughs> you knew what I mean. This on that, going that way. Just put it right here a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I wish there was a way I could hang it up. And we're out of greenery. Let's just do a little more, then we'll go back in blue. Wish there was some kind of way that I could do it without glue in it to see it, but there's not going to be. Not like this, so I'm just going to keep on going. And if we don't like it, we'll cover it up with something else, like maybe some ribbon later. Now, those of you floral people, I expect you to help me. Come on now. Say, Marianne, no, no. Or something to that effect. Come on now. <laughs> help a girl out. Because right now, I'm just a sticking. So, how does my other side look? Can I see it there? Let's see. Can you all see? You liking it so far? Well, thank you. Okay, let me turn it around and I'll glue this side while y'all tell me how that side's going. Do I have matching pieces? No, this one goes down, but that's okay. Let's just start gluing a little bit. I'm just going to glue, the, put a little bit of glue on the ends and try to stick them back in the same spot. And I like that these things, these green pieces are bendable so that I can bend them however I want. This would probably work better with a glue pot, but my glue pot is tiny, 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 tiny. Remember, we're not, you know, this is 
just the first little bit we're sticking in here. We've got a lot to go. Oh, and that one's not coming out. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. My floral people, does everything else look good on the other side? Are we doing okay over there? Should I move anything? I just keep going. And this is the stringiest blue I have ever had, so <sighs> hoping that's not gonna be a big old mess. There's that one. Let's get this one in here. Everybody had a good weekend. Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, here's this side glued and ready to go. Let's get this side glued and ready to go. <clears throat> I like this greenery. I don't know where I got it or what I intended to use it for, but perfect for this, I thought. I might as well just use it for this. All right, maybe this one should go up because that one's going up, but I think I like it down a little bit better. Maybe we'll stick it out. It's a good thing about crafting. You buy stuff and then later on you're like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. Unless you just buy stuff and use it right then. I have a bad habit of forgetting why I buy things. And then when they arrive, I'm like, oh gosh, what did I buy that for? <laughs> Anybody else do that or is it just me? Come on now, tell the truth. Little shorty me has to get up on our little tippy toes to see what we're looking at. That's okay though. See the strings, goodness gracious. We're gonna put pumpkin out there, I have a feeling. Yeah. Gotta put something right there since I just glued the heck out of it. There we go. All right. And this one. There we are. Okay, one more and then we can do something else. Crap, I'm getting glue on my new mat here. That's okay, at least it comes right off, right? Okay, yay. All right, how about some, mm, should we do, what do you guys think? Should we do leaves? Or flowers next leaves or flowers what do y'all think <laughs> ugly stuff you bought no don't um, throw out your ugly stuff you might use it for something 
don't throw any, the crafters don't throw things out. What do you think, flowers or leaves? I'm thinking flowers really quick. Well, I don't know, leaves are kind of a base. Let's do leaves, and let's throw in a little bit of, a few of these leaves too. Let's do these leaves and these leaves. So let's cut a few of these off. There's my silver again. Where's my, here they are. Let's cut a few of these. Gosh, these look terrible. That's all right. Cut some of the stems off here. I think I'm gonna start down here this time. I'm just gonna stick them kind of up more. What is wrong with this? The bow is going here, so maybe I should. Trying to fix the leaf a little bit so it doesn't look so terrible. Just taking my fingers and that's what you get for buying stuff at Walmart, I guess. Okay. As I think to myself here, we're going to leave it. <laughs> I keep pushing stuff in the floor. And we're going to do this one next. Push some of the leaves up. These are good. I don't have to do that with them. Let's stick some of my orange ones in here. I'm going to turn around and let y'all look at it in just a second. Same way we did the last. So we had the Apple Festival last weekend. It was so fun. We had such a good time. I bought a bunch, like I'm talking like 15 t-shirts. I didn't realize I didn't have any t-shirts until my mom was like, I can't tell. I've been watching your videos, but I can't tell which one's which because you always wear a blue or gray shirt. Well, I noticed. I don't have any t-shirts. All of my t-shirts are blue or gray. And, um, you know, I didn't have any t-shirts before because all of my clothes were for work, business casual. And then, you know, when they sent me home for COVID, what's the use in clothes after that? You can wear whatever you want all day long. I'm trying to do better. So I bought a bunch of t-shirts. Bought a bunch of t-shirts. Let's put this one here. <clears throat> Maybe there. Let's do it on right there. Watch you. Gosh, these are terrible. Alright, I'm going to turn them around let y'all see them. See them on this side while I check out the other side. Move my bow here. What y'all think about him there? 
Oh, you said flowers, Tracy. I'm so sorry. Am I like 20 minutes, 20 million minutes behind here? I hate that. Well, we started with the little bit flowers next, I promise. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. Just trying to pull them up to the end, is all I'm doing. That way I don't have a bunch of stems sticking out. Kind of hurry so we don't, we're not here all night long. <clears throat> Here. And I think it looks good. And I can always go back and do the gaps another time too. So that way I don't want to bored to tears. Okay. Now let's glue the other side here. in the floor, leaves in the floor. And I got a hole right there. We'll put something there as we go forward. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a okay. Here we go. I'm a gluing. <clears throat> That's okay. Looks awesome so far. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'd rather get it on my mouth than my countertop. So that's what I'm doing. Glue it. And it's not like if I don't like it, you know, I can't tear it all down. I've got a bunch of this mesh upstairs. So I'll just tear it all down and <laughs> do something else with it. As long as I don't glue the actual scarecrow, we'll be fine. Which I wouldn't do that. So let's see. Yeah, that's good. Okay. What did you all do this weekend? Talk to me here. Keep me company while I'm gluing. Anything fun and interesting? Any crazy excursions? Might be too far behind to talk to y'all. side. Here's what that side looks like so far. Put this piece in. That's about it. Oh, 
I hope this looks like what I had in my head. That's the worst part, when it doesn't look like what you had in your head, you know? <laughs> It's a board we can always just start over. There we go. There's that part. Okay, got two more leads and we can move on to something else. We can do flowers next, because that's what Miss Tracy wanted to do. Okay, there we are so far. Now, let me see what he looks like. Yeah, hold him up to me. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's not looking bad. Not looking bad. I say, now, you're right, we should do flowers now. We might almost be done. I don't know that we would get a pumpkin on here. What do you guys think? We're gonna try though, for sure. So let's do our flowers. Where's my clippers? Here we go. And then we'll put our bow on and see what else we can do. And I'm just gonna clip a bunch of these different ones off. And see, that's not a flower. I wonder what I did with that one. <laughs> Our little sunflowers. I don't care about those right now. And if y'all are talking to me, I'm sorry. It appears that all of my comments are slow. Let's try to see if I can do it again. Oh well. For a minute. So let's do and there is absolutely no rhyme or reason of where I'm putting this stuff. I am just simply sticking it in here. And counting on you all to tell me if it looks good, bad, or ugly. Okay, there's that piece. I wanna pull it out a little bit. Or you know what, let's put this big old huge sunflower up there, right there. Cut it down a little bit. <clears throat> There. 
trying to get it in between the mesh too. That kind of helps. Helps hold it on a little bit. Stick it to something. Oh, it's gonna go. All right, maybe. I don't know. I might need. Keep changing this place to the sunflower. <laughs> See if I can catch up. Hi, hi. All right, no problem, Miss Judy. Thanks for stopping in. I know you're busy. It's all right. It's all right. I understand completely. I promise I do. I really want to put a pumpkin right here. So I'm thinking I'm saving this space right here for a pumpkin. So let's start. What did I start with on that side? Let's start with one of these crazy looking flowers. But let's get the pretty one. I kind of want to do it right here. If I can. But I don't want that much. Look all right. We can add some berries. So there they are. Here's our little sunflowers, which I think we're going to save for the bow. So here's this side. Oh, I like that side. Okay. Let me see if we can. All right. Here we go. We're gluing. Nobody said it was bad, so we're gluing. If you said it was bad, I can't see your comments, so yay. Like I said, if it's bad, we'll tear it all down and start again someday. I think it'll be all right, though. All right, there's that one. Let's get this puppy in here. She went in that hole right there. Then I think we should put the bow on and see where we're left.
because I just keep messing with it. <clears throat> All right. I don't know what I told them. My allergies are killing me. My mentor calls this auditioning pieces. So you don't glue, you audition first. Then you glue. <laughs> Shout out to Dre. Andrea Smith. Or Andrea Brown, I don't know. I have a friend named Andrea Smith. Okay, I don't like that guy. Right next to that one, but that's okay. I'll make that it in the leaves right there. I have a big one the bow is going to cover that anyway. Okay, have I squished it so far you can't see? And I want to put a pumpkin down here too. Okay, here's that side all finished. Now, let's glue in this side. And we're going to put a pumpkin right here for sure. be a lot easier with a glue pot, but oh well. I know, she's a great teacher, isn't she? Where to put things, where not to put things. She might be like, gosh, Marianne, try but fail, girl. <laughs> I need another white. Well, I don't want it to be white because it's right there. So maybe I want something big over here. Um, I need something right here. Uh, where's the other one of those? It's up there. Or both one right there. So maybe I should put it. I like this right there though. Let's stick that right there. Leave it be for the time being. I can't remember where I had it, but that looks good. <laughs> Is that in the center? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's put our bow on and see what happens. Then I can go back and fill any spots later. And we'll put our pumpkin on for sure. We don't want that pumpkin to go up there. Just not a scarecrow without a pumpkin, is it? All right. There's that. And I'm sorry y'all can't see me. Like I said, one day I will have a Mac Daddy set up. And you guys will be able to see everything I'm doing. 
maybe some berries in through there, but let's put this bow on first. Or maybe I can get, get it in like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, that pumpkin has to go right behind his head right there. But do you think, can you see it? Do you like the copper? Or should we put the green? Because I'm thinking maybe I can put the green right here. At the bottom. Like make them diagonal. Let's see our bow. We'll go right here. Well, maybe we don't need a. I can fix it to where the. What do you think? Copper up there or green? I might have to trim some of that eucalyptus. It's hanging out like crazy. And then I can put some other stuff in there. Because here's where our bow is going to go. And I can definitely roll these up so that they're not so long. Oh, sure. green pumpkin right here and this batch of leaves. <clears throat> I do too. You want the green up there? Okay. Let me show you what the green looks like. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe the green should go up here and the copper down here. Here's what. Here's what the green looks like. Did I get him in there that way? Got a little piece of blue string on there. Uh, I might be trimming this eucalyptus big time, but I like it. What do you think about the green? Can you see the green? Has it caught up yet? Oh, there you go. Now you can see the green. Why, thank you, Miss Lonnie. So what do you guys think? Do you want green or copper up there at the top? <laughs> he is handsome. Because we can always put the copper down here at the bottom. Or we don't have to put in at all. But we are going to have to put something right here if we do that. Maybe we move this over a little bit more. Move my sunflower a bit. Everybody likes green. Oh, thank you. So everybody likes green. Let's go with the green. Okay, I'm going to put him in here, and I'm moving all my stuff over, so bear with me just a second here while I put, put the green in here. So give me just a moment, just a second to glue him. I'm going to zip that over here. We're not going to need that for just a minute. All right, let me turn him back around here, because I don't think I showed you all the other side. Of what that side looked like. Okay, let me know if there's any kind of big major gaps or any kind of drama over there. 
because I am going to put this puppy in here. Which means there's going to be a lot of glue going on, <laughs> going on here, so. And it kind of hides it, so that's a good thing. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, don't you love it when that happens? You need another glue gun right when you need the most glue? Or a glue stick right when you need the most, don't you? Alright. That puppy's not going anywhere. Just a second here. This is going to need to dampen just a bit more. Okay. The green pumpkin is on there, friends and family. gorgeous okay I'm liking him so far I think I think what I'm gonna do is since I can't hold him up and see him is we're gonna put the bow on him and then I am gonna call it a knot for you all and then I'm gonna finish him a little bit go up and put some little doodads here and there Make sure it looks beautiful. So let me get this bow in here. And I will let you all know. Well, I'll show you what he looks like first. And then I'll take pictures of him tomorrow. Or tonight, probably. I'll probably, I love him so much, I don't want to stop. But, I've got to hang him up so I can see what, you know, he, you kind of got to hang him up to look at him, put the rest of the stuff in. I can't see over him, and you want to make him balanced. You don't want to screw him up. You know what I mean, ladies? I know you know what I mean. Okay. There's that part. Is it even? Let's see. Where's my other piece? I don't want to suck it in, so... Almost there. Okay. Yes. I can't believe I got that bow on the first try. Goodness gracious, y'all. All right. Let's fix it a little bit here. So it doesn't look so crazy. Probably cut some of that off, but there's that. I'm just pulling some other ribbon tails out really quickly before I call it a knot here. I'm going to make the ribbon look good or make the bow look halfway decent before I show him to y'all. I, I want him to look his best. <laughs> I love scarecrows. Scarecrows are my favorite. And of course, you guys know me. I will work on this ribbon for hours and hours and hours. So... Plus, I gotta have some stuff coming out of the bow here. I can already tell that right off the bat. Gotta have some stuff coming out of the bow. So I'll probably use the little, I know you can't see me, probably use the little sunflowers for that. 
There's some of the bow. Almost there, just pulling out another tail. Does anybody know if the Chiefs won? My boyfriend was watching that game before he left. And he was like, I gotta go. I gotta go. You gotta do your video. And <laughs> I gotta see the end of this game. I was thinking, okay, bye. <laughs> see ya. Have a good night. He's not even a Chiefs fan. I think he's pulling for the Bills, actually. All right. That might look presentable. But you know me. It's not presentable enough just yet. But whatever. We will, you know, I will make it perfect. Okay. Let me move him to the side just a second. I will pull you guys up, let you look at him from a different perspective, instead of right down on him. And I will figure out if we're gonna do swags, how to put a pin up so I can put them on a wall or something. So here we go. Here we go. Woo, why thank you, Miss McIver. I'm glad you like him. Here we go. Let's see what he really looks like. Here's my face. Sweaty, sweaty face sweat. Woo, woo. <laughs> I'm glistening. All right, here we go. Okay, whoo, gracious y'all, that was a workout. All right, I can already see some spots I'm gonna have to fix, but still, are you still behind me? No, okay. Here is what he kinda looks like. Kinda tentatively in the bow, I'm gonna have to be corrected, but here's what he looks like tentatively. So there's this big pumpkin up there, and I can't tell right now, but I think some of the eucalyptus is gonna have to be fixed. There, there we go. What do you guys think? I need to, I need to put some more sticky outy stuff, don't I? I like the top of him, his top looks good. But he needs a few more sticky outy things. I like his bow. That part don't look so great. But I'll fix that, it's all crooked. But you know me, y'all. I will have that perfect before we get any pictures. Wait, it needs to come down a little bit. But there he is so far, so. I'll be working on him for the next hour, probably, because I can't take it if he's not perfect. There's the bottom so far. So he needs some stuff right in here, too, for sure. Like right in here, he needs some flowers. And maybe he's, well, I'll work on the bowl, you know I will. But, his hair is gonna have to go up, come out to the front. What you think? Kinda sorta really, am I on the right track? <laughs> I think he's gonna be cute once I get him done. I can't really tell what he looks like right now because I'm over looking over top of him, but we'll get him figured out for sure. And we should be able to do a scarecrow, my scarecrow that we made with the overalls that I went everywhere in the tri-state area looking for overalls. <laughs> I can't believe I used that oval. But anyway. All right, any questions, comments, concerns, any anything, anything at all? Well, <laughs> I'm, go I'm gonna try to sell him. I probably will, depending on when I get him done, what he looks like, if he looks good enough to sell. Because right now I can see on the side of his head, I'm watching the replay here, on the side of his head, he needs some more stuff. He needs some more stuff on the bottom. We're gonna see what happens, but I'm gonna work on him right now. Anyway, um, if you need anything at all, have any questions, anything at all, shoot me a message right here on my Facebook page. I will answer just as soon as I possibly can. I promise you I will answer. I'm busy working like crazy, so give me just a little bit, but I promise I will get back to you. Um, check out my YouTube channel. It's at Made Marianne, uh, Made by Marianne, I'm sorry. Uh, I put all my videos there after they're done here, so um, like and subscribe there if you don't mind. Join us at Wreath Work Forms and More. We're going to have cool stuff coming up for the fall and for Christmas. I can't wait to start doing some Christmas stuff. I'll see you again next week right here, same time, same place. 
God bless each and every one of you. Tonight it was made by Mary Ann. Tomorrow it might be made by you. Good night, everybody. Have a great evening. Happy Sunday. Go balls. <laughs> Good night. I couldn't resist, guys. I had to. Good night, y'all.